Hello. So I didn't check my mic today. No complaints. Alright, I'm gonna assume no complaints. So I'm once again here to tell you about the lie of a good night's sleep. Because I have slept eight hours. Two night in a row two nights in a row. And I feel fucking exhausted. Uh so yeah. Everything they teach you in life is a lie. Shocker, I know. Oh, actually. <laughs> um something else to talk uh to talk about today. My wife has a kill count now. Well, I say now, but it's more that's additional. Um So, keeping with my comments about how, like, most Nintendo YouTubers, most YouTubers, to be honest, especially white YouTubers, um, are all extremely low to beta, low T beta males. Um, I've seen the, the Princess Peach reviews coming in, and as we've discussed, and as you can see from the title, this is a man's game, so of course they don't like it. Hold on. <laughs> It's so hard to get an image in here. So here's the kill count. Another one to the list. I think, what was the, I saw like Gerard's review. The guy running from his like charity, I want to say allegations because it's just a fact now. His charity fraud, that man, the guy everyone tries to tell me is one of the hashtag good ones for the past 10 years. Despite him spreading his cheeks for like literally anyone with a paycheck. G4. <laughs> Princess Peach game. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I extremely tore. What's what's the, the Gerard's video? It's the completionist, whatever. It's like not cut out for the big stage or something. Let's see. Yeah, not ready for center stage. Shut up. Shut up! Oh my god. What is the- ooh, this is a heavy dislike, baby. But then again, that's probably because of, you know, the- the 10 million charity fraud or whatever. Starts on- thoughts on Stellar Blade? I wish it was on PC. Uh, my, actually, if you want, like, an interesting take from it, it's been very funny seeing, like, um... I talk about this in my upcoming video, and I, I feel like I talked about this a few times. Uh, the, the like, enlightened centrist type trying to go against Stellar Blade, it's, like, trying to call it just, like, basic humor bait, and it's, like... Again, just trying to, like, you know, be above everyone. Like, all of the discourse on it. Where it's, like, Stellar Blade isn't, like, perfectly to my taste. I mean, you guys know I, I prefer anime styles as opposed to Korean. Um, but, like, the idea that it's anything but, like, good in the industry, that it does, you know, any, that it's, that, the idea that it's anything but good, that it does well, is fucking ludicrous and just contrarian. Um, like, video games are goddamn sexless now. And truth be told, it's not like, you know, people always fall back on, like, oh, just go watch porn. It's like, man, I don't want porn. I don't like porn. I just like a little titillation, right? I, I want attractive female characters and male. Um, but probably the funniest thing in all this, um, kind of in that light and centrist range, but not exactly. This is just more opposite side of the spectrum in general. Um, you see so many like posts like this, like the um, actually uh, sexualization of women bad, this, this, and that. But then you go through all of these people's history without fail and you will find thirst post after thirst post for the tall resident evil lady. Just the peak of my fetish good, your fetish bad, or as we like to call it in the business, save horny. Um, because the only way that's appropriate for men to display sexual attraction is in like an inferior position of, you know, um, demasculation. Isn't it weird that I have to be the one to say this? 
<laughs> Lady D tier, absolutely. Uh, again, Starblade's not exactly my cup of tea, but I think it's nice. Like, like I'm interested in it. Again, if it was on PC, I'd buy it day one, but uh, I'm not buying a PS5. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you finally get your one game, guys. Congratulations. At least for a few months, and then you won't have any games again. She doesn't even look good. It's because she's tall and and big and it goes against typical gender norms and that means it's empowering and you're allowed to like it. The funniest thing from all of this is stuff like Bayonetta, right? If you go back, I don't know, 10 years, five years even, I, I'm very bad with time. Um, Anita Sarkeesian era, right? You have people criticizing Bayonetta for being like sexy and male gaze and all this. But then they talk about it now because they lost that fight and they're like, actually, she's fine because she's a queer icon and this, this, and that. And that's what these people do. It's all about taking over it. If they lose the battle, it's they just reinvent it, you know? Um, but yeah, I've I've seen a lot of eye rolling moments of like enlightened types being like, actually, this is like slop the the stellar blade stuff it's like come on man like it's actually an attractive feel like like again it's not my perfect game there it's not like senra and kagura right like that's more my kind of sexy game but i think this is in the right direction i mean there's like speaking of Senran, kagura there's literally interviews of how that series got killed because of sony's um guidelines and stuff for a while <laughs> And now that the Jim Ryan era is ending, maybe that's changing. Who knows? I still don't trust Sony, but I only think this is a good thing. Anyway. Video game time. <laughs> I think we're on the mermaid, right? That's why I put it as a thumbnail. I also miss Senra and Kagura. Senra and Kagura is like a really, like a genuinely good game. Like... Again, it's not just titillation. I did these. I did these. I didn't go up one. Same studio that made Nikkei. Makes me wonder if they'll make a full-scale Nikkei game. Uh, I don't think that's likely. I think you're likely to have Nikkei costumes in the game. Feet in the... Hold on. Talk to the feet in the red shirt. I mean, they're all in red shirts. You need to narrow it down, buddy, unless I read that wrong. I can't even talk to this guy. He, he's not giving me shit. You're lying to me. Let me get my Nintendo Switch mouse cursor off the screen. Excuse me. What are you? But yeah, Senran like legitimately died because of Sony's policies. There's an interview for it. I, I there's a video coming out this month, hopefully. I talk about it more. I'm actually having a little trouble with it. I'm not. I feel like I miss editing for video games right now. <laughs> video games are a lot more fun to edit for, in terms of videos, because like sound effects, whatnot, transitions. I feel like I'm having trouble with this video making it more, um, the way I like doing videos. Oh, this is like a mini game? I mean, sure, but I don't really feel like this is worth it right now. A lot of adults trying to call people sexist and immature when they never came to terms with their own sexuality. Absolutely. Oh, I'm not ready for this. I feel like I was pulling up. That's, I feel like I feel like I dragged down a bit there. Tell me how volume is, by the way. I'm not doing it this time. I'm not getting tricked.
Was that a waste of time? I think so. Never listening to Ninja when he types in my chat room again. Controls for a bit slow. Yeah, yeah. It felt fine in the level, but uh can't say I'm too interested in doing this right now. Flappy Pete showing hey, right. cool. Well, if there's one way to improve a game, let's put a cute girl on it, so. Alright, so actually let's look at our real levels now. The things people actually want to see, including me. Hello, lowest expectations. Mermaid time. Things are unreactable, you need to know what's coming next. Yeah, it definitely felt that way. Like, I pulled down, grabbed the stuff, and she just kept going. <laughs> Each time. So cute. The play is everything mermaids. It includes a very talented singer with a stunning voice. Oh, there's a concert today. Let's go. Is this a rhythm game level? Oh, buddy. It's Kingdom Hearts 2 all over again. Can I not? Maybe if I go up? No. Did in fact just crack a nut. Games don't have good sound design, man. I'm like all, I'm like all struck when I actually play something uh, designed like well these days. It's like movies now. Everyone needs fucking subtitles because the actual sound design in movie is dog shit. Do I jump in the water? Okay. It's okay, Peach. Take your time. I just say, uh, Mom is a game I don't care about. No one cares about Melody of Memory. Don't like, don't like Kingdom Hearts Twitter, Twitter for you, dude. I will say it's perfectly fitting that Kyrie's big game, her big moment, it's just she falls asleep and dreams about Sora. What a perfect summary of what that character has become over the years. Yeah, sound design is one of the most important things in games. Sound design, game feel. All things AAA gaming really lacks these days. Here we go. A fish is fine too. have better underwater controls than Kingdom Hearts actually that's the next question your voice it's just like the singers you've had we've had no luck finding the singer you have to join us on stage and perform the yawns is waiting will you help us oh okay I expected like a dash not to like mind control fish. Ooh, okay. Do I bring them over here? Yep. 
Yo, I'm so smart. Let's go. Tuna smells great. Bro, I think your nose is clogged. Oh my god, how could this happen? Who could have saw this coming? So you have Kingdom Hearts. It's always been very funny, funny to me that Sora becomes like, what, a dolphin? There's some very interesting implications about what's going to be going on in that brain chemistry. <laughs> Alright, time to explore. This is very different from what I expected this level to be. Would you with Dolphin Sora? Absolutely. I don't think I have a choice. That's kind of the point I was making, actually. <laughs> you don't get a choice with dolphins. I've learned that from experience. <laughs> That's a story I haven't told in a while. I have to go down here. Kill? Absolutely. This heaven was like really young. I went to like I don't even know. I it was it was like a Florida park where you get to like swim with dolphins. Uh and uh that dolphin did a bit more than swimming. Not quite on Hank Hill level. It was more of a more of a dry hump than a penetration. But that's my dolphin story. Big boy coins. <laughs> Dolphins are fucked up though, dude. They use like other fish as sex toys, man. It's whack. Can I push this upward? I want to flip this up. Oh, there we go. No, no, not that one. Owned. Did you guys ever watch Shark Tale? I saw that movies in the theaters. As you're learning today, I had a very fucked up childhood. Are you gonna get like Shark Tale like revisionism history at some point? Oh, I see what I have to do. I have to get one of these guys over here. Do you guys know everything that's ever been considered bad is actually a hidden gem and people just didn't have the media literacy to understand it? Fun fact. I just shocked out, which I didn't. <laughs> 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 
Well, Shark Tale starts a black cat, so you're racist for saying it's bad. Yeah, I guess I guess that's the starting point of that statement. Alright, let's see this rhythm game in action. Let's see some Miku Hatsune Project Diva shit. While holding B tilt toward the fish as they, they swim to you. While holding B tilt the left stick toward the fish as they swim to you. Okay. Project Diva, this is not. I'm tapping. It's telling me to hold, but I keep tapping. Like, your was my childhood? I, I hope you're joking. <laughs> That's a horror story in a statement if I've ever heard one. Wait, this is- this is the- We can't let kids grow up like this, dude. See? Terry Davis? Oh, man. This kid's gonna be fucked up forever. <laughs> God, her waist is so small. It's the perfect grabability width. You don't see that anymore. Light years was two years ago. Was this kid like four? Don't be here, if that's the case. Get out. Ralph Frakes the Internet was one of the best movies ever made. It was underrated master for you. Oh, that's definitely a Twitter. That's a Twitter take. You're gonna see that in a few years. You <laughs> demi image. <laughs> I was starting to name Laura most intellectual viewers. They're usually full of it. Absolutely. I like like an analysis, like critique videos on YouTube, but like Review channels who have to review like every game. It's no different than like going to IGN for coverage. It's always poo poo. Snake, thank you for the five, dude. Don't you love Lightyear making evil Emperor Zerg a sympathetic villain? Isn't it also him from like a different timeline? Because everything needs to be about time travel and multiverses. That it was one of the worst experiences I've ever had watching a movie. Only. Only beaten out by Toy Story 4. <laughs> At least, like, Lightyear, you can easily ignore it. Toy Story 4, it's like, that just fucked over three good movies in terms of canonical continuation. Also, one of the best outfits in the game, must I remind you. Simply for its idle animation alone. Must eat sweets. Oh, don't make, don't let Torch of the Mode see this. Get this user out of chat. the bake okay we have to save their soul with sweets what a true war I love <laughs> it's nice to have a game about a girl which is just a girl all right this is making me think of something else well three little droplets A girl doing what a girl is doing is best. So true. It's also funny because it's like companies and stuff like... You know, obviously they, they try to push like the strong female thing. This and to subvert the expectations. Just make a man in that... Or make a man call it a girl. 
But it's like a buy experience from both sides of the aisle. That's what the people want. See, they're getting excited about that one. I don't really like lemon. Ah, uh, dude, I, I, I love Tangled. I also like Frozen. No, I wasn't done! I was reading chat! <laughs> oh, man. I saw Tangled and got distracted. Can I... I'm, I'm redoing it. This is the beginning of the level. I'm going back. My autism can't handle this. I'm sorry. Texting and cooking is normal. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I don't really bake. Maybe that's different. I've never, I never baked anything. Like I cook fairly often. At least I used to. Not so much recently. I never baked. No cake. No cupcakes. No donuts. Did you like Ghostbusters Afterlife? I did not see it. I don't want to see it. <laughs> also, it's fine. It's my fault. Um, I think I think good things should just die. I don't want sequels, dude. I'm sure it's better than like the Force Awakens or whatever. But uh, I don't know. Ghostbusters doesn't seem like a movie that. And I, I don't. I'm not even like a big Ghostbusters guy, right? Like I before my time, I didn't get into it later, like I did with a lot of '80s, '90s movies. Um, I still like it, obviously, but like it doesn't feel like a a thing that's like super like even within universe should have a lot of reverence for itself. I, I I'm, I'm not sure if I'm describing this properly, but it doesn't feel like that type of movie that should be jerking itself off. No, I feel like you're missing the point. Shala, thank you for the two. Appreciate it. Uh, give me one second. I, I could not mess this up again. <laughs> Perfect. I fucked up slightly. It's fine. What outfits would I pick for a Showtime sequel? Ooh. That's a good question. I'm not sure I have, a, I have an answer immediately. Well, I like big hats a lot, so I'd be very happy, aw, with like a, with like a witch situation, personally. If I could just choose one outfit. I'll support her in like a string bikini, I don't know. <laughs> Popstar would also be good. Did you guys ever see like Popstar Amy from like the mobile game? Yeah, like an idol. Yeah, idol peach. Yeah. Let me let me pull up Pop Star Amy. Uh, I I, you know, I've never had interest in Sonic Dash, but like, man has given us some good costumes over the years. I guess it's kind of funny. Like, I, I don't really like idol stuff that much, but I, I like, I like, I like elaborate costumes, right? Like, again, like, you, like a, official, even like author worker type things. Like, I like, I don't know. I, I like outfits, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> this is really cute. Something like this would also be nice, but I think, I think if I could choose anything, just, I like big hats. It's like a witch outfit. <laughs> I guess kind of in the, in the same vein as the, um, the sword fighter one that could definitely work. Uh, Shala, thank you for the two. Again, appreciate it. <laughs> Kimono Peach is in Mario Kart uh, tour, actually. It's a really good outfit. Billions must bake. Do I have to mash? I thought I had to hold it.
Hey. Wait, do I have to go twice? There we go. Okay, I don't know. I just... I was hitting B. <laughs> I was in like a footstep off. Get more from here? Okay. Nice. Is there any more? I think we're good. No regular size hats? I kind of agree with that. I like little hats. As well, they're cute, like a little, like a little top hat, like on the side. God, the animations are so cute on this outfit. They're good on all the outfits, but I don't know, man. I got too excited, I'm sorry. I, I really wish you could repeat like one section. Cause I'm not gonna do it at this point now. Oh my God, dude, this middle one's killing me. Maybe they'll let me redo it now. No. I'm a master. I can't help it sometimes, you know? I'm a handsy guy. Have to- I- 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 sometimes it just- I feel like it's going at a different pace than before. Oh no, okay. Guys, please stop, I'm coming. Did I do it? Did I do good? Gosh, she's so cute. It goes faster when you've got the guys. I'll take it. You don't want to overachieve in life. People expect too much of you if you overachieve. Do you, whatever, whenever you get a job, school, anything, do bare minimum. Still not a big fan of the teats. Whatever they're called. Eats. Feats. Billions must bake. Can you fuck this up? The things I would do. The things I would do. The ye- The ye says risen! That's good. Oh, that's good.
I think we got a new dress, right? I, I, I didn't check what the dolphin one was. In school, I do lower than the bail minimum and still pass. Ah, that's the education system for you. I guess I got that last time. I... Do I have to buy? I might have to buy the, like, the extravagant uh, dresses I free up. They really, they really should have a shop on every floor. I feel like that's a, a fundamental design failure of this place. Like in universe and out. Oh, maybe not. What the hell? I feel like polka dots a bit better than I originally gave it credit for. Do I want to buy it? Yeah, might as well. Absolutely not. Funimation shut down. I mean, that's been in the works for a while, Dave, because they combined with Crunchyroll. They become the worst company in the world. The funniest thing from all that is watching the people who like subscribe to these places get owned. Because I believe if you own anything on Funimation, it doesn't exist anymore. Which I don't think you can legally do in some places, so I hope, like, Europe sues them. Um, but yeah, so if you own something on Funimation, like the, the website or whatever, you're supposed to own it forever, but it just doesn't exist anymore. Alien Invasion. Oh, is this a new outfit? I think I'm gonna, do, I think I'm gonna save that one. I think I'm gonna do the cowboy one next. Showtime. Like, the second cowboy one. Just the website. I mean, if you own a physical DVD, John Funimation can't come to your house and take it. I think. <laughs> so just the website. But like the company shut down completely. Cause they're they're owned by um Crunchyroll now. Cause cause CR just wants like who is owned by Sony. Um so again, legitimately the worst people in the world having a stranglehold on the industry. Chris <laughs> Savage will come to your house. I wouldn't put it past that guy. You bought something? No, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he was he was like sliding in. <laughs> All right, let's go. Calgar outfit's pretty good as well. Excuse me, Cal type 2. Is that grabbable? Yeah, it is. Do I want to go down? I didn't go down. I probably should have went down. I definitely should. I want to keep going. There's definitely some stuff in this game that's like, well, you didn't know this, so sucks to suck. But I mean, this game seems like it's built around you replaying these levels, so. Well, wait, what am I supposed? Okay, okay, <laughs> that was just a cinematic. <laughs> Use the jump on the train. You got it. Did we just Yoshi that horse? Did he fall in the hole? I didn't see him land. Well, guess she learned from the best. Oh, I just I didn't realize I was was still running on this. I guess. Um, 
I can't speak. I didn't realize this was still like a, 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 a self-auto scroller. There we go. She's so cute. They own the majority of distributors in the West, Funimation. Yeah, and I mean, even the ones who are known by them, they like, you know, directly work with them. So it really is a monopoly. It'd be pretty base um, if the government actually did something about it, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Right, I'm guessing I can throw these back, right? Oh, wait, hold on. Nice. Oh my god. I thought I could grab it and throw it. Oh no. Nice. Yeah, I mean the government never does anything actually good for society, so... Imagine my shock. Hey! 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 Let's go. I really like the OST. Ooh, my voice cracked. I'm going through puberty, sorry. Um, I really like the OST in this game. A lot of variation. Like, it's not gonna be like, one of my favorite OSTs of all time, but... It's good in the moment. That's another problem with a lot of games. I mean, not, not Nintendo games on this problem, but a lot of games are just like atmosphere tracks, not like actual music. Is nine anime safe? I use AniWave, but anim nine anime is also fine, I think. Um. Oh, I see. Nice. <laughs> That's fun. I hope all I'm supposed to do is run here. We tour in all anime I watch. Yeah, I mean, it depends. Uh, I usually prefer touring, but I don't know. If, like, I'm on a call or something, or just want to stream anime. Sometimes that's the route to go. <laughs> well, shucks. Thank you. Dick is diamonds, dude. Diamonds. We just beat the Mermaid Peach level. But I'm uh, assuming there's another one. I feel like each, each little costume gets two stages. I'm taking the iconic structure of Sonic the Hedgehog. The image of Bal in Wonderland is terrifying every time I see it. Again, this is my favorite color, so I feel weird putting on literally anything else. I just like this one, because it's two-tone. Excuse me. There's your mermaid peach content, if you missed it. I'm gonna watch Rose and Mermaid. Uh, I, I need to get footage for something I'm working on. Um, and I, I need to get footage of some older anime. I want to watch it now, because it looks really good. I'm going to my history. Gunsmith Cats? 
feel like I feel like if, if I showed you a screenshot of it, you'd know what it is. It's a very nice art style. The blonde is so cute, dude. I... I miss when anime was good, man. There's something I want to show from it. I'm not sure if I should... If I can be able to show it. Oh yeah, this. I feel like it's something you see online a lot, like images. I've never actually seen it. I want to watch it. If a mermaid flirted with you, would you let her smash? Absolutely. What a silly question. But yeah, she's cute. Um, I feel like I can show it. Hold on. I always say, panties are essential to character design and is a crime in the industry that they're not allowed to do it anymore. It says a lot about a woman when you understand the type of underwear they wear. So with that, do you remember when anime used to be good? We need to go back. So far back. I read the manga years ago, uh, but the scans were poopy. <laughs> Been there. Hold on. I, I can't read half your messages because of this fucking heart in the way. Mini May Swift. Okay. That's the name. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I've never seen it. We'll hopefully change that in the coming days. It's like it's like three episodes over. Alright, so I don't think I've seen this costume at all. The alien invasion one? Like, I didn't even know this was a thing. When I was looking at official mods that are in no way breaking any laws, I saw someone requesting a hair, do a hair down mod for this game. What the fuck is your problem? That's just a public call out I wanted to make, just so we're all clear. Ponytails might be one of the best thing men ever invented. This should be Toad's worth. <laughs> Again, I really don't care for these guys. DreamWorks ass characters. Alright. Long ponytail or short? That's a tough one. That's like a that's like a mood of the day. I think I prefer long overall. Just I prefer long hair in general. I was really thinking that was gonna be a transformation sequence. Where are you going?
Kung Fu Panda 2 is the best movie in the franchise. Is that a disagreeable opinion? You're presenting it like you're, you're, you know, you're breaking your silence. I feel like that's the most common opinion there is. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but Toy Story 2 might be the best one. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Dini. Uh -oh. What do you think about the recent representation of your kind, Shota's in Anime Seventh Prince? Oh, I'm you looking even share to that. the size of thighs with the MC Ulu. I'm, I'm looking forward to it for multiple reasons. I haven't watched it yet, obviously. This day wouldn't make any sense. Um, but it looks good. On the other side of the spectrum, there's also a cute lolly I saw from the manga, I think it was. Uh, which is a nice contrast after the ReZero character designer was like, Oh, modern audiences, we couldn't... We couldn't draw the coat clothing so thin. It looks like good content. Good civilization. As Rei Takahashi would say. Oh. I like it. That's cute. Ryan, do you like Big Hero 6 character design? Especially the mask. She's like faster too, wow. That's good. Huh. This might be making its way on the higher higher tiers. Censorship fiasco ruin the hype for the new season. Absolutely not. I love her zero. It's disappointing to hear all that, but uh it's not gonna take away from my enjoyment. Especially because I'm actually unsure if it's gonna stay that way. Cause the thing is with ReZero, every season of the anime has been censored on the broadcast, but uncensored in the Blu-rays, so I don't know if they're gonna go back and change anything. I like to think that, but I don't know. Leave him alone! This is a really good outfit, man. I also love the anime-ass run that it gives her. Is there anything I don't know? Here's the power for the lift. Okay. Dude, I'm so smart. I like auto-filled that entire puzzle. I didn't even think. See, this is, this is why it's a man's game. Little girl could not figure that out. Me though. I could. <laughs> you drop it on them. I don't I don't I don't think so. That doesn't sound very heroic to me. Bit of a Zack Schneider esque hero at that point. Oh, she got, does she have a little wrist thing? Hold up. After I beat this guy's ass. I'm gonna check some stuff out. Okay, no, she's just adjusting it. That's fine. I, um... I really like, uh, I, I don't know if it's called, like, Gadget Punk. 
But I love like little devices like that, whether it's like on the wrist or like a little like flippy thing. Very cool design concept. Battle Network has a lot of that. Kind of looks like roll. Oh, color scheme, definitely, yeah. I, I could... More, more in line with, like, again, like, Battle Network type style rolls and stuff. Because they elongate the design and usually add black to the limbs. Do I get to pilot a robot, man? I, I know it's coming, right? Oh, a jetpack? Not as cool, but I, I, I do like jetpacks. This feels a lot better than the, uh, uh, the gliding section for the Peach the Third part. No, I was saving lives! God damn it! <laughs> Should've let that man die. I'm just too nice of a person. We could come back to this. I think this outfit does kind of exemplify what I was saying, though, that I don't really like her voice direction this game a lot of the time. Her voice doesn't quite sound as uh, cutesy as I like. Watch my move with Colsey one time in that counter. Maybe I have to hit the punch? Yeah, okay. And then... Alright, well, something else. Maybe this one? Yeah. Oh, I... Oh, okay. Amari 64 in this shit. It's Sonic all over again. It's not that bad. I, I I would not compare this game to Frontiers in terms of voice direction. Thank you very much. What a sex coded outfit. <laughs> so wait, did the mermaid really not give me a dress? That's fucked up. Liking a trash game with a mid remake. I feel like the most offensive part of that is you calling Mario 64 DS. That game is dog shit. That's like peak revisionism history I'm seeing with it. I remember one time I watched a video with chat user twerks to the mode, right? And it was like, was Super Mario 64 DS actually good? And before I watch it, I'm like, here's what's going to happen. He's going to list all the actual complaints that people go over, gloss over them, like little problems that don't actually matter, like the controls and whatnot. And his big conclusion is going to all come down to, well, I played this as a child and I think it's pretty good. Which is most Nintendo YouTubers. Hmm. Kind of want to go back to the disco, to be honest. Yeah, they won't go with that. So much 6040s stuff on Twitter for uh, for a few days. It's revision of it, revisionism history at work. I wonder if we can go downstairs. I wonder if we can unlock the um, like the the cowboy guy now. Now that we did it. Wow. You're locked with English VA. That's sad. I think so. I never I wanna be I'll be real with you, I never even looked. Wait, I I'm I'm silly, I'm being dumb. It's usually th there's just one VA. <laughs> I forgot I was playing Mario for a second. Like if you play if you like if you played a Mario game somewhere else, it's like you're getting Charles Martin A no matter what. <laughs> yeah. Like, just what because they're just like voice lines. <laughs> Oh, 
And what, I was like, why didn't I think to look? And I was like, oh yeah. Oh, here we go. Showtime. Game difficult joke idea. Easiest is game uh, game journal is harder. Uh, Excuse me. Game difficulty jerk idea. Easiest as game journalist, hardest as video game essayist, where the latter has insta-kill bullshit like a sudden kill homing mouse. <laughs> I, 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 do. I wish games were allowed to be funny. Every time a game kind of has something like that, they get immense criticism because, of course, from the journalists. Uh, last time I can remember it happening was um, baby mode for, like, Wolfenstein. Like, it was in that area. But there's like a few other times it happened and these people go like seething over it and writing hit pieces. Video games aren't allowed to be fun. <laughs> I actually do like that um Mario anime. The Yova. I remember people were thinking they were gonna like reference it more in Wonder. Because of the little prince dude. ass train dude yeah they got the five appreciate it I was like a fucking child who like saw like a glowing oven. They're like, oh, the train's getting faster. I'm like, ooh, slid right on there. I think there's this game called the Dishwash that actually did call it the easiest difficult game journalist or something along those lines. That's good. Peach, please get your uh, face out of that horse's ass. I'm gonna like fight on this thing and then that's gonna be like the other section oh dude, I was gonna get pissed if I didn't get if I wasn't allowed to get that oh, that's not good do I have to like pose here to bring that down here, didn't I? Or can I? Okay, good. I'm so unsure what my favorite gameplay style is. I think Chef might be my favorite outfit for reasons discussed. It might be the superhero, to be honest. I feel like I need to see it's level two first. Sword Fighter was really good. Nice. 
nice. Funny if our game would be a journalist mode, but it's fused and <laughs> <It's like, laughs> Well shucks. <laughs> Thank you. Cowgirl ribbon. That might look nice. I guess we could do the chef one while we're here. I I wonder what a hard mode for that it looks like. So do these like unlock anything like going through these? Is this like, oh, you can only get the, the secret final boss if you save all the little dudes? Or is this pure bonus? Oh, that's good. Again, that's like in the area of my favorite color. Don't really find these hard. You don't find Princess Peach Showtime hard. Wow. Can't believe what I'm hearing. Let's go. Oh, you just gonna address in the shop, okay? Why well, I, I well I I do that from last time. But I'm wondering if you do all of them, like if it unlocks anything. It does, yeah. Vinyl understands the point of this game. Oh, is the evil baker? <laughs> you know, I wish level 5 stopped using dub names for their Inazuma 11 games. As if anyone saw those names. Yeah, there's a... I, I feel like it's less common now, but... Don't ever feel good. Can I bake over here already? I I can I can pose there, but what do I do? What do I do with these? I don't waste them. Oh, here you go. Nice. I'm pretty elite gamer, 100% Princess Peach Showtime. What a chad. Should open up a lady. You should open up to a lady with that line. A few bonuses, but I feel they have something to do with the story. Oh, that. Oh, okay. I was forgetting about the little pose areas for a little bit. No hard mode, Nega. What can come close to Kirby Games hard mode? It's true. I. There are certain true arenas that I would consider like some of the hardest things I've done in a video game. <laughs> I, that might have, that might be an age thing because it's like I haven't really done anything like that in a long time though. I don't know if that really stands up these days. All right, billions must bake. All right, I should go in like. The problem I had last time is I was fighting it. The current, I mean. Peach cooks food, could this be sexism? In our modern age? More likely than you think. No, no, no!
This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I didn't I didn't realize I had I ran out of pastry. I didn't realize that could happen. I was just splashing it. Actually wait, it might just let me to do it again. I don't restart. That's what we call a scrimmage in the business. It does not count. Your daddy ever brought you to Little League and was like, oh, you won. That didn't count. He's just trying to make you feel good. Like, what? Well, okay, what am I? <laughs> Sometimes I am, frankly, a little like. There we go. Oh, wait, no, I didn't do over here. My crazy person, I feel like I did it. Should I be more, like, particular? Is that my problem? Ah. Oh, I didn't do the last one on me. I'm not- I- I- I've never baked before. I told you. I cook at the meat. Ball, usually. I keep thinking that one's done. Stop moving, Peach. Hold the button. The cake spins fast enough. Alright. Fucked up. learning as he bakes. Alright, this is easy, right? We just plop one down. One here. Oh no, did I miss this? 
Okay. Am I about to fucking... <laughs> Little Sally's never getting past this, guys. I don't, I don't even know where I fucked up on that one. I'm getting through it now. I'm just not sure if I have enough. Chef one's still your favorite? Absolutely. The costume didn't do this to me. In fact, I get to spend more time with the costume. You just have to be faster. Oh, is it not that I'm running out of ingredients? It's that he's finishing first. So I really should. I need to embrace my inner self and just mash. I was holding back. That was the problem. That's hello, Togopunk. You missed you missed your costume, man. By one whole level. Oh no, I fucked up. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Ah! <laughs> As a game, I have mixed feelings. I'm very much enjoying it. It's that easy. I was playing the comeback story the whole time. This whole thing's scripted. Man couldn't even get past his first or second tier. More icing, better cake. That's a fair argument. That's like a direct proportionality. I don't know if you real with you guys. I don't actually like cake. It's all about the texture, the consistency. Whenever I had like a birthday cake, I always get ice cream cake. Because I like ice cream. Or like, you guys ever had like a chocolate chip cake? Oh, what is that? That is a twerk core if I've ever seen it. Get me out of here. I 
Ice cream cake is based so true. Do I just have to bake a lot now? Like, I'm guessing from these stands. God, she's so cute. Peach, not that. Oh, it's jiggling its belly! Ugh. Don't think I've ever had cake that wasn't delicious. It's again, it's not the taste, it's like the way it feels. No, no, I, I'm really liking this game. It's been fun. I got nervous. I like that they're actually like helping me. Can you like stop dancing? We got food to make. I feel like I'm on that. F oh, oh no! <laughs> Terrifying experience. To go all the way to the end for this one. Yep. Nice! Let's go! A little teamwork makes the dream work. Too, buddy. <laughs> Delicious. Thank you. You killed a man. He was fat. He had it coming. Oh, we beat the hardest stage in the game. Did I ever watch Princess Connect Redive? I have not. What wasn't there a gotcha for that? Like I remember liking the character designs. But I didn't play it because I believe it was owned by Crunchyroll, and then it shut down because it was owned by Crunchyroll. <laughs> so. Boy. 16 months? Thank you, cool. Can't believe Peach Thanos snapped that guy with flavor. She does be serving. Oh, actually, I should probably go to the shop. Horse girl outfit. 
Sweets. I like the sweets because I like the pattern on the top a lot, to be honest. Ah, uh, yes, absolutely. Okay, right, well, I guess I'll buy the prison garb just to... Oh, no, no, no. This is like a lollipop. This is the prison garb. Um... I won't get those for now. Wasn't the gotcha censored? Unsure, but again, Crunchyroll published it, so I won't be surprised. If, if CR is attached to it in some way, you will be disappointed. Or hurt. Vosh's favorite outfit. Oh. Uh, dude, I either watch, watch a Vosh clip for a video I was making. It hurt deep in my soul. Let me tell you. It was 20 seconds, but that's 20 seconds of my life I'm never getting back, man. <laughs> All right, how many do we need here? 20? Easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to click on a lot of things. A lot of unsavory individuals. <laughs> Just figured out if it would actually be a gremlin. Uh, you said goblin, actually. I'm never gonna get over that cope, dude. The entire thing of like, well, I'll talk about it when uh, less stuff's happen. Oh. Cheshire ass cat. Are Mew the Peach and Stella I've heard about? Mew are barely bit parts in Madame Grape's esteemed production. Try as much as you like, Mew won't succeed. I suppose Mew think you can defeat someone as grand as me, the guardian of this dark door. I'll swipe those smug expressions- I can't roll my R's. Uh, right off your little faces. It's like a Paper Mario ass set. What is this? Projector cat. Uh. I feel like I want to throw. Huh. Oh, I want to put the bomb right. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I have to wonder if there's an easier way to move that, though. Okay, I can stop the hands, okay. I'm a silly guy. There we go. As to what kind of circumstance require him. Oh, uh, you'll see. It's, it's about stuff that's going on. Um, new cycle a lot lately. 
But I can give you the context of I was trying to get a clip of like a bunch of people talking about it from different politics who aren't necessarily someone who would usually even talk about this kind of thing to kind of express how uh, wide it is right now. It's obviously video game related, because that's all I really talk about or care about. GG, easy. That was really easy, but I feel like I kind of had fun. Again, shocking in a video game right now. But you'll see. I want to do some fun, fun videos after this one comes out. I kind of feel, um, what's the word? I want to say pulled toward, but there's a more specific word for it. Well, that enemy was something else, huh? At least this floor is back to normal now, too. We've performed lo in lots of different plays now, so I'm sure we'll be fine no matter what comes our way. <laughs> we live in a post-fun society. We don't use fun. Oh, uh, yeah, that's modern video games, huh? But yeah, I think the other two bosses were harder. Like, I feel like that was rather easy, but it was enjoyable. That's a theater star lift. I wonder if the threads uh, and that door were somehow keeping it from working. Oh, maybe it's accessible again because you've weakened Grape's magic by restoring the lower floors. Now we can go to the basement and other floors more quickly. Oh, hell yeah. Vanny, thank you for the five. A global stream video reminded me of an old isekai called Outbreak Company. That's an interesting plot twist. I've never seen this. I don't know. I want to look up the name. I want to see if I at least have seen of it before. Outbreak Company. Because this name doesn't sound completely foreign to me. <laughs> I'm curious why... I, I, I've definitely... I've seen this girl. I like this guy. This looks like a relatable character, right? I too would like a magical lolly on my lap. But thank you for the five, Vanny. This is gonna be like a princess, right? A lot of good vibes from this image. But yeah, I feel, um... I was trying to say, I feel pulled towards doing the, the video I'm making right now, because I covered something before and it kind of blew up later on. Um, and it kind of goes with something I've been talking about. Penny Ranger, thank you for the sub. Um, I've been talking about in a few videos. But this is me being able to address it directly. So after that, I think I'm gonna do probably gonna actually bunker down and do my blue archive video. Especially now that the anime's out, I'm gonna have a lot more footage, or it's gonna be out by the time I get to it. But yeah, th this next video is actually probably gonna be shorter by my standards, so it's gonna be like 30 minutes, 25 minutes as opposed to 50 to an hour. I need to watch Outbreak Company, same artist did uh, Chaika. Oh, I never watched that show either, but I do like their character design. Okay, this is neat. Um, I guess we'll go to the fourth though, because we already did the stuff in the basement. Whole show is free on YouTube, by the way. How nice. Alright, these mostly look like round twos, except for Kung Fu, I'm guessing. I think that's Kung Fu, because we haven't gotten Kung Fu yet. I think I want to go back to the ninja outfit. Ninja outfit was one of my favorites. Oh, hello, Yoga. I'm on the stream. Again, I feel like this outfit would be much improved if you had side slits, like at the thighs. I think this would be like a 10 out of 10, because right now it's like an 8. Like, see the black line right on the sides? It feels like someone in Nintendo wanted to do it, but they just weren't allowed. <laughs> oh, I like this song a lot. Can 
I go up against this wall? Can I move like this? I feel like I shouldn't risk it. Okay. Oh! Oh. Speedrun strats, ladies and gentlemen. You thought I fucked up. Uh, Princess Connect's great in spite of being plagued by country. I really love the same humor as Konosu, the same director. Oh, uh, if you mean the anime, I, I have nothing against watching the anime. I just, I would, I just wouldn't play the, uh, the gotcha for the various reasons I described. Which, which again, I think it shut down because of CR. <laughs> um, I wasn't talking shit about the anime. I mean, publishing an anime doesn't usually affect it that negatively. Of course, you have usually bad localization stuff, but even that usually gets patched up. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I could, I'll, I'll consider watching at some point. Uh, thanks for the support and my eternal disdain for Strive, Dimitri, old game bad because new game has more players. Oh, absolutely. That's always the funniest thing. Um, well, actually, no. To me, the funniest thing that comes of it is like when you talk about hating Strive, because I do this too, and then we're like, all right, post your hours and Strive. It's like, Ningen, are you paying attention to the words I'm saying? I hate this game. Why the hell would I have an absurd amount of hours in it? I don't want to be playing it. I fucking refunded it because I didn't want it. And I only bought it on Steam again because of the fact <laughs> that you, I thought you were adding a character I really wanted. But then you did. So I just, you know, I refunded it. It's like, you want to talk about my hours in previous games? Sure. But even then, I don't really think that makes a difference. But the, the whole like, oh, you don't play Strive, so you can't complain about it is such an insane cope. <laughs> But it, I mean, it goes with the consumer mind mindset of like, thou must consume. Most people who like defend franchises from any criticism, um, I think I tweeted about this out of the way. It's like, fandoms these days are just essentially like the brand ambassadors, right? Oh, I didn't know I, I thought I was safe if I stayed up here. My bad. But it's like... Again, I, I most time out with Sonic, because it's the thing I have the most experience with, because of my own interests. Um, but like, Sonic fans on Twitter, it's like you can't criticize anything at any point in time. Um, and it's not because these people have like a love for the game. Like, that's always existed, right? People who will defend things no matter what, because it's like, this is my favorite game ever. But it always comes down to, this will hurt the brand. The brand has to be good. We need more slop. Ooh. Can I run up this wall, actually? Oh my god. I moved a fucking inch. Well, I guess this solves my problem. Get this guy out of here. Pokemon fans and Sonic fans aren't allowed to complain about anything. It's especially weird because it's like... I'm pop this around, right? Um, so I'm, okay, so this will let me go. Yeah, okay. Sorry. So, like, the, the biggest thing I always see on Twitter is, like, Sonic fans will be like, you know, I don't like the color of Sonic's fur right now. And people will be like, oh, Sonic fans are so entitled. Having a criticism of the thing they like, talking about their preferences? Oh, oh, they should just, uh, you know, consume the product. Like, it's all it comes down to. And it's so silly, because a lot of the time, even people like that, they're not necessarily, like, 
Being like, this is the worst thing ever. They're just talking about what they like, you know? Oh my... I had to pop around, I guess. Oh. Huh. Was making that a bit more complicated than it needed to be. Whoa! Eating good! Yeah. <laughs> Man. I wonder if I can make this jump. If I do it here. Nah. Put this. Oh, can I turn it from over here? Nice. Shows played a four crumbs. That's always how it is. I seen that post recently with like Mega Man fans or like Mega Man fandom eating good. And I'm like, what was the last time we got a game? <laughs> It's just like cameos and stuff, dude. That was Spyro too, as well. And I'm like, bro, all we all we've eaten is like Crash Bandicoot's thirds, right? Because we didn't even get our own game after the remake. We got featured in a fucking spinoff. Thanks. <laughs> right in the wall. Oh no. I overshot. It's one of those things I feel like I needed to know that to get to grab it. The only thing Mega Man is eating good for is just finally getting some old stuff fan translated. Oh yeah, I, I really want to play the uh, one Battle Network, um, like GBA thing. The one where you actually like pick your net navi. I feel like they should make that like a mobile game in the modern age. I mean, I... I know I'd be all over it, right? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Neat. But like, imagine like a, a Mega Man, I, I guess it'd have to be Gotcha-esque, where it's like, you actually take care of your net navi, right? You go on missions and stuff. There's tournaments. Like, dude, I, I'd be so fucking over that, man. That'd be like a money printer. Because if you don't, if, again, for those who don't know, there's like this GPA game and it came with like a, a battle network like accessory, kind of like an e reader thing that you would like scan cards and stuff. Um, and your net navi would play itself right you'd play you'd issue commands and they do things um there were tournaments because i think it was on gba might have been like ds or something yeah it might have 4.5 maybe i think that's it because I, I think that was only translated recently but it seems so cool again some of these comments to fucking a chow garden Phone game that con connects to like a Sonic Adventure remake that I, I kind of don't want Sonic Team to make anymore. But I've been saying this for like 10 years. Like, uh, I'm not a genius. I think. <laughs> These ideas shouldn't be like that. Like, like, oh, I never thought of that. Like, I feel like this is just so obvious, you know, for these companies. 500? Oh, what I spend on that fucking stupid ass stripe. I'm not getting- I'm not getting the lemon. That's, 
Never, never liked lemons personally. I guess we'll just do one more stage and then we should be able to buy it. Why is the one uh, just called Projector? I don't see any cats. Because that was the name of the boss. Uh, I guess we could do the detective stuff. I feel like the detective stuff was... um. That's on my lower tier in terms of levels. Yes, I think we'll... I don't know if I want to... Maybe I want to get it out of the way, though. Yeah, I think I may want to get it out of the way. Mario DS minigames should be mo- That's the best part of those! Do I love when people bring that up for 64 DS? It's like... They were in a, they were in a good game too. New Super Mario Brothers DS. Well, detective, a good assistant knows to arrive at least five minutes early. That's why I'm already here. Anyway, I have a tip about a possible suspect wandering around the city. Apparently, he walks this path every day. So let's wait here and keep a sharp eye out. <laughs> She's too. Oh man, the animations in this game are great. It's that guy! Profiling! Profiling! He's evil! <laughs> I love my racist wife, dude. This is so based and trad pilled. Where do you want me to go, my little dude? Yes, you person you. <laughs> oh, soft flop because of the frame. Thank you for reminding me. Um, what was it? Z. What's the button combination to unsoft lock it? Wasn't it ZL plus down? There we go. Living like the plebs now at 30 FPS. Dude, that's cute. That's good. <laughs> oh. Thank you for reminding me, Neo. I really forgot about that. Get this. Everything's going according to plan, the you know what will be ready soon. Rendezvous at our hideout. Make sure you aren't followed. Hmm. Uh, so there's some kind of plan underway. But where do you think he went off to? With 60 F just 60 FPS? We're living in 2024 at 120 FPS. Can I do anything over here? Let's look at this. There's a puddle. I wonder if it rained recently. There must be several socks about to disconnect our current horse in case. There's a lot of stuff over there. I wonder if it's all, all from one of the local shops or something. I love everything Mariah Callis paints, but I haven't the foggiest which of these is the real deal. Please find the real painting for me. Ah. Let me talk to these guys. Maybe they'll say something. Only one of these three paintings was done by the legendary artist, Mira Kellis. I'll give you a prize if you can figure out which one it is. Yeah, well, that's not really a hint. It's done by someone using my name. Don't be fooled. Who am I? Just an artist of no particular importance. 
Oh, well, that must be the guy. Okay, so this one's not it. So it's one of these. As far as Super Mario Run still getting new content, is it? In the year of our Lord? Thought Nintendo would have just let it die like most of the mobile games. Yeah, me too. Basically, anything that's not Fire Emblem Heroes, it's like... <laughs> it's, Fire Emblem Heroes is like Nintendo's like Spongebob in terms of gotcha. Because it's making so much money and, and they're like, well, if it's not making as much as Fire Emblem, well... Why don't we want it? Uh, did I not say anything? Should I hurt someone? Uh, trudge through a puddle, but that's all. Never catch one so refined as myself, so I can choose in the puddle. I haven't seen a thing. Alright, so this one's fake. City at peace. Student of the arts. Oh, uh, it has to be this one because the other one doesn't even have the name on it. Hmm. Lesson final here is all Nintendo games need clothing damage. So fucking true, dude. I was like blown away of that initially because it's not something that's obviously in fire of MM games. But what a good mechanic. Yeah, remarkable. So like even when you're losing, like you don't feel too bad because you get to see, you know, some skin. I uh, have yeah, remarkable eye for beauty. Please accept the the miraculous original as a reward. I know you can solve the mystery detective. Your powers of deduction are remarkable. What's that? I can have the painting. Well then, please take this with my thanks. I'm so smart. Um. Oh, okay. Wait. The, I, I see the footprints. So we do have to go over here. Mario Kart store is still Kart Tour is still going, but there's no new content. Now that it's completely funded the booster course. Yo man, can you flap that up? Oh, I'm sorry, let me get this out of the way. There he is again. Let's take care not to lose him this time. Oh, good thing I didn't move. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Can I go in here? So this character? Sure. Yeah, I've seen some near the apartments up ahead. What about this? This door was left a little open. Hey, coins. Well. Can you imagine spending that much on something that isn't a waifu? How watching someone below 1,000 dolans for Yoshi? What? What is wrong with you? The biggest problem with that in, in like, um, Mario Kart Tour is like, you don't even get to always use the characters you want because it's like, oh, this character has gets more items here, does this and that. So actually putting money in that game is dumb as shit. <laughs> I remember when Ubisoft did or announced that one game where you like switch to your controlling and whatnot. And it was like, ah, you play, for, play as a grandma, you play as some guy on the street. Um, and it was like, it had like a gotcha mechanic in it. And I'm like, how do you miss like the core pillar of gotcha, right? You need like sexy anime girls or boys to get people in the role. No, no one's rolling for like Tyrone down the street, right? <laughs> All right, I, I, I didn't pay attention to this. Ready to finish the you know what? So it's time three of us to meet up at the hideout, okay? Huh, anyone suspicious? No one's been this way. Maybe they went to the final apartments. Hopefully not me and my little brothers, though. We live in the apartment on the far right. Okay, so... This isn't it. What about you? What do you have to say? The hideout is around here somewhere. 
Well, they all got... So this is a star. This has a thing. This has a little leaf. This store has one leaf above it. Has a flower above it. Huh. Is this- what is this? Is this the leaf? Bro, I'm sure- oh, whatever. I guess I can't analyze this. It's probably just for them. Um... Ubisoft ban you? You can't play Uno? What did you do to get banned on Ubisoft? I feel like it's the middle. I feel like a flower is not like an evil organization logo, right? But a leaf? That's pretty suspicious if you ask me. Yeah. Evil. I can smell it. Very potent. I am <laughs> the Canadian slander. there. Just look at them. And we don't care for prom here, but these MS card no longer on DL site. Globalization is coming. I might have missed my mistake. I mean, I like, I like H content. I just don't like 3D PD. That shit's gross. Um, I saw like a, almost like a conspiracy theory based on that. And I'm using that term very loosely, but it was like, it was, it was some post where the guy was talking about how like for all these, you know, hentai base site, whether they're Pixiv or DL site or any of this stuff, because it's all like animated stuff. And it's like basically what he was saying is like equivalently, it's like they always go to shut down this stuff, almost like it pushes people to like the again the three D PD stuff, and then you look at like the type of the people who run those industries. I'm explaining this very poorly, but I, I thought it was a very interesting post because that always does seem the case that they come for these types of things as opposed to like stuff that I would actually consider somewhat harmful, um, whether it's in the back end of production or society as a whole. <laughs> uh, this is an exact replica of the city's clock tower. Plan at with a bell detonate at midnight. This note seems to be details of their plan, but it's all torn up. I can't read most of it. I think that might be a good in DL site's uh, specific situation, because I believe they have other payment methods, and I believe they made changes to their, like, cataloging system because of uh, Visa, MasterCard, whatever you just said. What are your thoughts on Parappa the Rapper? I like Parappa the Rapper. Cool dog. But yeah, no, so I, I think that might not be the worst thing for DL site. Maybe they'll revert stuff. Um, but now, I mean, you see, you see that in most industries. Everything has to fall in line with global, parentheses, American standard. It's not a large building, this bridge. And oftentimes, these policies end up being very hypocritical for the reasons I just discussed. Look, all these bombs would be a disaster if even one of them went off. I need to focus up here. I'm seeing a lot of clocks. That makes me lean towards the clock tower, but I don't know, I don't know if that's a smart... What's this telescope say? Maybe they were looking at where... Telescope, do you think they were looking at the stars? Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, I think we have our culprit. Oh. 
How's the game so far? It's fun. Is that not it? I made my first mistake. But no one's perfect. I like to treat, treat, yeah, teach life lessons on the stream. Okay, so it's the, it's the clock tower from behind the building. So my initial guess was right. My problem was, I'm a genius. I shouldn't have had to think about it. The fact that I thought screwed me up. Thank you for helping with another case. We confirmed the three intruders with an explosives enter the building. We're heading in now. Oh yeah, I did the God of War devs try to own the chuds because Stellar Blade has alternative outfits. He tried to be like, oh, this is supposed to be the man games playing with pretty outfits. Yeah, just like this one. <laughs> but it's so funny, especially with David or David Jaffe or whatever his name is. Because I think that's what his name is. Um, like if you go to like his old games, it literally had softcore prawn in it, right? Like with the God of War minigames and stuff. And obviously I don't really have a problem with that, but it's kind of ridiculous. Um, you know, to then complain about this when your history is what it is. Uh, detective, we should use the lift to follow them. But that's what I was saying at the beginning. Oh, I had to try to figure out. Okay, six. Oh, is this one? This is six, but it's we gotta find the key to operate. It's this one. It just fell upside down. Yeah. Safe. Don't think about it. It's called the genius intuition. But I, I know I already showed off this earlier at this stream. But I think it kind of, um, you know, it helps display the point if I, if I bring up another one. Where is it? But it's like all these people who like, hate like literally, like the female form, the stereotypical what men find attractive female form. You will bitch and whine, bitch and whine and cry if you so much as find a feminine female attractive. Will demonize sexuality. However, again, when it's unstereotypical contrarianism, like tall lady resident evil, there is no one more deranged than these people within their sexuality for multiple reasons. A, just the subversion. B, because it puts them in a position of showing like, they're, they're again, it's like demasculating. They're putting themselves as the small one. It's like the big strong woman. So they're not a threat. Um, it's the only type of sexuality you're just allowed to display on social media. Um, or as we call in the business, safe horny, yeah. These people not think uh, these people simply not think attractive women are real people. You can find someone attractive and still respect them. Yeah, especially and it's especially ridiculous for Stellar Blade because it's based on a real um, Korean model, right? Like it's just literally based on a woman that they kept um, identical to a real life counterpart. Unlike all these Western games like Spider Man and whatnot, where they'll have like a female and they'll just beat her with the ugly stick until she looks nothing like the original face model. That's how it always goes. I uh, did try to say that Kratos and Sweet Tooth are his dark thoughts and character form. That should say a lot about that freak. What a fucking loser. And it doesn't it doesn't surprise me. That's how all these people are. They're always like trying to hide something, you know? I 
I probably should have went left. No, god damn it. This is gonna be a video game ass secret over there. You're you're not getting by me. <laughs> I love cops. Hand over the bomb, right? What? You don't have it. Then where is it? Talk. Good luck, chumps. You sure won't find it up on the top floor. We'll keep up the pressure. Use your power of deduction to figure out where the bomb is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. British cops would never do they, they literally <laughs> That's a fair point. Oh, he is definitely trying to trick us. I bet we'll find a bomb on top floor. But to be fair, this is based on like a different time. When the British used to not be so undesirable. <laughs> Thank you for the five chaos. Appreciate that by the way. Alright, let's figure out what the puzzle is over here. There's something here. A part of something. Maybe it's part of the gear. That's where all the parts we found here. Okay. Well, there's one over here. The way this game has things like just... I, mean, I guess it goes with the whole art direction thing. Usually when something's supposed to draw your eye, it's like the opposite of yellow paint. <laughs> like everything's put into an environment in a way your eyes are naturally drawn to it. Like that's what I mean about the intuition stuff. Like usually all this stuff, it's like even half paying attention to chat. My brain can still pick up on thing without splashing a toddler's paint can everywhere. It's fucked up that, like, children's games respect your intelligence more than, like, modern AAA video gaming. I mean, not that this is a children's game, it's a man's game, but, you know. Gear is broken, I don't think we can use it. What about this one? I see you! I want to put this, hold on, I want to do this first. Do I want to be out here right now? I don't, I don't think I want to be. I <laughs> How was my April Fool's Day? It was all right. Dude, actually it wasn't. It was, f I got pissed off. <laughs> all right, we can talk about something now. Can we? I know. I know. I know. There's like one for. I know who. Who? Where? Sterling has to be a Minecrafter. They're a Zoomer. I know. There's gotta be other ones. Minecrafters in this chat room. You guys saw what they did, right? The fucking April Fools update for Minecraft. Their joke was they did things people wanted for once. Pisses me off, man. Minecraft added a fucking hook shot, a new dimension. A new boss for hee hee ha ha's. And we, yeah, ter Terraria's a, that's like a Terraria update, man. <sighs> so mad. I don't, I don't think I need the pull up footage. I don't get mad again. You, you guys get the gist. Every fucking April Fool's Day, they do shit like this. Like, bro. This is the one time you could work more than 10 minutes for us? Like, back when Notch was making this game, every, like, update had, like, a good amount of content. Like, changes to the game instead of, what if the wood was pink? Such a shame. It's because all the interesting stuff they ever put in the game, they want to, like, monetize. I think we find one here. Well done. Carry on, detective. You may have caught me, but the bomb is still tick-tack ticking away. You can leave this joker to me. Just focus on finding that bomb. Ah, police brutality. <laughs> you accuse me of liking Minecraft? I only played it once and it was boring. So 
This generation's cooked, man. They don't even have the attention span to play Minecraft. You have to put like subway surfers in the corner for them to enjoy it. I guess we'll go outside. Oh, there's a key here now. Okay. Minecraft stinks. See, do you really want to be on the side of history that has twerkstered the mode? Oh, that's right. Ster Sterling is like the disciple, disciple of twerk twerkster the mode. Excuse me, I forgot. These dudes are going to fusion dance into the worst opinion you've ever heard. Ah, uh, that's tablecloth. Oh, wait, there's something rectangular under it. Um... I hear ticking coming from inside the box. Well, that's probably the bomb. Do I want to... What's over here? The door is slightly ajar. I wonder what's inside. I'm just going to go to the bomb. He's her spore. <laughs> Played Pepsi Man and Temple Runner too. Oh, I got, I got bamboozled. Well, that's definitely a globe. This has got to be the bomb, right? Unless it's like... <laughs> Having to pay to keep your Minecraft server online. That's like Xbox players. Playing Bedrock Edition is like... Embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Keep Tim Notch's vision. Java spaghetti code. <sighs> I don't know. What, what do you think, little dude? Is this as high as the clock tower goes? The bomb's got to be around here somewhere. Paris combined, no solution can escape us. But we still need to work fast. The bomb's going to explode. Oh, I should look at the footprints, right? I feel like it is the bell. Yeah, it's the bell. I'm a silly guy. Minecraft Dungeons is good. Minecraft, uh, whatever the one that came after wasn't. Dungeons is fun. It's like Diablo, but it doesn't require, require $5,000 to play it. I wanted to play Disgaea, and then 7 came out, or no, 6 came out without sprites, and I got very disheartened. <laughs> this is cute. I bet you can still see them, like, moving, like, like, like breathing, because they're not actually in freeze frame. It's like a play. Again, the animation in this game is crazy. Case closed. Thank you so much. Missing a lot of key features, but I like it well enough. Yeah, I feel like, especially because this guy is Nisa, I feel like I'm better off just playing them in Japanese at some point, even if it's more of a hassle for me. <laughs> Never call me a disciple of twerk ever again. Her opinions are trash. I have the correct opinions. So you you sound exactly the same. <laughs> disciple of twerk, such a funny name. Oh, I didn't want to go to bottom. Oh wait, but maybe I should. Because there's probably like the, the super detective thing. How is that even going to work? I don't pay for Minecraft a third time. Why would you ever buy anything other than Java? How do I? I'm six coins off. Why did I buy the stripe? Why did I buy the stripe? 
You search harder? I guess so. Time to find out. Did not always have a PC that could run Minecraft? That that makes sense because of the spaghetti code. Showtime. Oh, that's the name of the game. So you guys being able to confirm the Super Mario Brothers 3 is a stage play. I wonder if there's a secret Super Mario Brothers 3 level or at least DLC. I doubt it. But that'd be cool. But I doubt it. I'd, 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 I'd be shocked. I'd, I'd kneel if this game got DLC. Huh, the detective Sparkla. <laughs> nope, sure haven't seen him. Why would there, why would they be here? Look around, just your normal everyday peaceful museum. All right, I don't trust this guy. Did you hear the detective Sparkler's joined up with Madame Grape? Isn't that great? So really, you can just take it easy now. No need for you to do anything at all. Are you also? Huh. They're not sending them best. Early Neptunia writing, uh, honestly, the best Neptunia writing. I played um, the remake of the first one on my <laughs> on my Vita, and that's about it. One day I want to go through that whole series. It's really upsetting that the Neptunia X Senran crossover happened after Sony was fucking kill. Because that would have been so good if it happened at both the peak of their series. But even like the, the like the fan service minigame is like you balance on a ball. It's such a shame. Nah. How's the show? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Just working out the brain right now. Oh. Nose of truth. Oh, hey, chess. A treasure chest? Let's open it. I feel like one of these is going to be like, okay. I always expected like the mimic equivalent, which I don't know what the hell you'd do for this level, but. We got ripped off with that crossover. Absolutely. Again, like... While I think Stellar Blade is like a step in the right direction, which is why I do want it to succeed, I, I trusted Sony. I don't care if they kicked Jim Ryan out. They killed everything I've loved in the past like five years. Um, so I'm not hopping on that train anytime soon. Just in case anything happens to me, I'm leaving this note behind as a guide. The central the center, central door will open once exhibits with a shared element are examined in proper order. Okay. You must already have shown impressive skills to get this far. I'm positive you can solve this. Good luck, Detective Sparkler. Uh -huh. It's a message from the Sparkler, which means I'll probably find them or at least be a step closer to pass the store. Alright. Let's first open this. The shared down beneath some of the exhibits, huh? Well, it's not those little round things. They're decorations and are completely meaningless. Did you just tell me to answer? Okay, so... This is the first one. This is the last one. So I'm guessing one... Two... Three... Four? I got fooled by the empty fool the day April Fool's article. Yeah, dude, I I don't dislike niche gamer, but I but I, I started to on, on for the April Fool's Day. Cause it wasn't just like one article. The, the entire day was spent spent 
putting out articles that were like things I want. Like it's the same thing as the Minecraft thing. Like why do companies do that? Why are you like here's the thing you want? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Like <laughs> God, dude. At least when like Sonic did it for like the the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, at least that was like a good little game. Like it was its own thing that's like, oh, you actually made something. It wasn't just a fake thing. I'm gonna go over here. Oh. Hey man, get out of here. Can I intuition this guy? I feel like I don't need to, but I feel like he's evil. Yeah. Again. Seeing Jim Ryan, it's funny that once he was fired, PlayStation suddenly showed interest in working with emulation devs to get stuff on PS5. Dude held so much back. I didn't even know that. That's crazy, but not surprised. What the hell is going on over here? I just cleaned up in here, so don't touch any of the statues. All right, I think this guy's actually fine. All right, so. Is this really all it is? Getting their, their noses, like, in front? I'm guessing like one of the things is behind there, like the third one maybe. Yeah. I actually don't know if he's evil. He could be one of the good ones. All right, well, now let's do this in order. Holy shit, a Chaos Emerald! Nikki uh -huh. shut off an actual third person shooter people would want for AF. I, I don't know what you mean. Because, did they show off like the third game they wanted to do? Is that what you're talking about? Because I know they wanted to do a third one. I don't know, hopefully Shift Up continues in the direction. I didn't like them for a bit, because... <laughs> I remember they, they censored... They, it was the most confusing thing in the world. I was in Nikki's beta, beta but I, don't, I didn't play it. I immediately stopped because of monetization stuff and other things I don't like with the game. It's just not for me. It's fine. It's just not for me. Um, but I remember when they were marketing the game, they literally, like... The, the, the ads literally, like, called their, like people like consumers people playing their game and that's not a problem like they were calling themselves like again like coomers or calling their fans like coomers or whatever because it's like they're selling their game on titillation and that's fine but then they censored it like right after i don't know if it got reversed or what but it was the most confusing marketing thing back to back i ever seen for a game It wasn't right after, it took a while. Well, at least they... I, I'm assuming you're talking about the reversing it, but that's good. Detective, it is I. The junior detective, what are you doing here? Oh my god, was he the... I am seeking Detective Fargo just as you are. Oh, he's evil. The detective, they are trapped in this very room. I have run into an issue. There appear to be four Detective Sparkles. I must ask you to find the real one. Is the twist going to be... That the little partner guy was actually the real one, like, watching over us the whole time. Oh, uh, that was Nikkei I was talking about. They made a fake trailer for Nikkei Third Person Shooter that actually looked good and better than Slop today. Oh, I don't think I saw that, but I would like to see that, like, actually become a game. Like, I feel like that's what we really need 
specifically industry wise to actually bring things in a new direction because obviously the highest people at the company usually just care about money so if like these things are proved exceptionally marketable especially at a time when everything's bleeding money and that's positive um but I guess the one thing I want to say on that is while voting with your wallet is always important, people who say that's all that matters are fucking stupid because the problems of today would not occur if that was the only issue. Because it wasn't that these games weren't making money before. Um, part of it was just, you know, people being loud about wanting something specific, even though they didn't buy things. And obviously we're in this point where things are bleeding money. But two halves. Uh, Junior isn't going to stick around and help. That was surprising. I didn't think we'd run into Junior here. Anyway, let's talk to them and figure out which was, which of the detectives is the real one. Once you've figured out who the real one is, use Strike of Intuition to confirm. It's not it's about the money spite of me. <laughs> I'm the real detective Sparkula. Hurry now, you should All right, well, that's definitely not it. The real detective Sparkula, that is. I'm glad you finally made it here. I have been through a lot since Madame Grape captured me. It's time we escaped. That's possible. I need not say anything. You've used skill for deduction to get this far, and I'm sure your intuition will lead you to the truth. I think it's that guy. Especially, the, these guys have glow. He's the only one without a glowing nose. I'm the real detective, Sparkula. Get me out of here, and we can solve the case faster than you can say deception. And once we're done, what do you think of becoming my very first assistant. Nah, you're trying to butter my biscuits. I don't trust that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm pretty smart. <laughs> it's not just about voting with while, it's also ideological capture. Yeah, no, nah, and that, that's one of the reasons I make videos. Um, especially, uh, more recently, well, I got not more recently. It's, I started making these videos when I first started making like, uh, analysis. Um, I mean, I think that stuff's important. People who try to tell you like, ah, oh, shut up. It'll go away. Go up. You're, you're being cringe by like reacting to this and caring. It's like, I don't want to say it's controlled opposition. Cause I think those people are usually just stupid. Um, either that or like, they're too like pussy to say that they agree with current stuff going on. Either, either one. Um, that's why it's also important to talk about these things, because things don't change unless you actually, you know, put in the legwork. Mm. There wasn't a doubt in my mind you'd puzzle out of the solution to that problem. <gasps> now then, let's make our escape. <laughs> Be the bigger man, yeah. Oh, hey, the fake painting. <laughs> A dead end? We'll have to find another way out. Let's look around and see if there's any useful clues to be found. Alright, so my little thing about Junior didn't turn out to be right. But I feel like Sam was up with him. It's a painting of a castle. I wonder who painted it. It's a model of the museum. And would you look at all the small details that worked hard on this? Is there any, like, footprints or anything? No. There's a really, really big magnifying glass. Way big. It's way too big to pick up. There's a lot of books stacked up here, and if we look inside, ah, uh, just as I thought, the content goes right over my head. Well, not me. This is just a normal everyday shop sign. It's a globe. Think you can find the Sparkle Theater? I will. Nothing seems to be amiss. Perhaps we should backtrack and look for another route? I can't, I can't even intu intuition anything here. Mm. Oh! Trapped in a loop. I should have returned to the room we came from, but how strange. Hmm. It appeals we have been pulled to some sort of mysterious space. This must be clues around here, though. Opinion Nintendo Museum opening this year. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, I mean, I guess that's cool. I'd have to... I'd have to, I'd have, to have a better understanding of what it is. Because it could be cool, it could be totally lame. 
It's a globe. I think you can find the Sparkle Theater. All right, it's still gonna give me. I feel like I want to intuition this, but I want to go back and forth one more time. Oh, I should probably, there's probably, I have to see what's wrong. I'll hang on the photo I just took up on the wall. Let's hope there's some use. There's probably something different between the two, yeah? Is the magnifying glass not in this one? Yeah, it's not. Uh -huh. I see Nintendo back in its gambling days. They also used to run love hotels. Nintendo's history is like interesting. And then of course they used to make like actual toys. Jordan box does it stand out to you in any way absolutely I feel like this detective level is really long I feel like this has been like half the stream I think if I didn't do these like uh, finale sparkle levels this would be a lot shorter is that what the, is, the youtubers not play these is that why Detective, this way, hurry. Because I feel like this game is actually going to be, like, acceptably amount of hours. Because if it was, like, just six hours on the dot, I guess I could see that as a complaint. But, like, I feel like this is going to at least be nine, ten hours, which is perfectly fine. You know? But again, again, this is a man game. YouTubers are not high-T individuals. Of course they hate it. What? I mean, sure. As you know, the sofa in our office doesn't have a single cushion on it. If you were going to purchase a cushion for it, what color would you pick? What a weird question to ask at a time like this. But, uh, purple would be nice. Oh, is he evil? Is he gonna like evil colors and stuff? Next, if you were meeting someone at 9 o'clock, when would you arrive? At 9 o'clock, and then you get there at 9 o'clock. <gasps> That's not him! I was right! Because the assistant always shows up 10 minutes early, right? <laughs> this is a great character. I'm not a graper, I mean. Enough with these silly questions. We need to hurry to the exit now. Evil! We do a little racial profile. I knew it. Both the exit and the fake junior detective were deceptions. The true exit stands before us now. Come, let's make our escape. Adam Graper. <laughs> Case closed. Thank you so much. That was that was like decent. I I feel that was the one thing I, I would I would probably like give people as like a criticism. But no, I think this game is actually probably going to be a decent amount of hours, unless it's like every modern game has to be at least fifty hours, and it's like, please God, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just want a nice, tight game like Peach, dude. Good size. Don't need none of this, like, 50-hour bullshit for everything. That Because I like long games when they earn it. But most games don't earn it. 
Am I streaming Saturday? No. Why do you make up things and assume I'm going to do them? <laughs> manga publisher Dio Books will begin releasing AI translated manga niche gamer. Let's go! Thank you, Chaos, for the five and the good news, man. I like the I like the 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 detective dress. It's quite nice, but I feel like the sparkle dress is just like more universally fitting. Like it looks good on Peach. Like it looks yeah. like her actual outfit, you know. I think I'll still get it. I'll probably wear it every now and then. I like the chocolo color. <laughs> These Saturday streams in the room with us right now, said Parks. <laughs> it keeps doing this. I feel like it's a I feel like it's a joke I'm not in on. <laughs> If your game is less than two hours, there is nothing stopping you from asking Steam for a refund, no questions asked. Let's go. I feel like that's a bit different though. Like when I see hear people complain about games, it's like, oh, five hours, you know, they actually have some meat to them. I mean, there's a lot of things like, right? Like Sonic Superstars, right? Like that's something I don't think is worth $60. But it's like, it's not simply because of its time. It's like, I don't think its quality is worth $60. Hello, Marcus. We're on the stream. What's going on? Something strange is happening at the training hall. And thank you again, Chaos, for the good news. We're just gonna stream every day. Let's go. No, I'm not. I can't do that. I'm gonna. <laughs> You're gonna see a Hassan rant from me if I stream every day. <laughs> oh, poor me. I have to play video games and talk about current events. Unlike you people with your. Job of manual labor. <laughs> or is that my, my real name? Why I, I, I don't assume people's YouTube names are the real name. Collab with Hassan when? After I game over myself. Can I can I have a hand over here? Gentlemen? Thank you. All right, we need we need coins. I'm getting nervous. There we go. I can't handle the pressure. Sana's pretty desperate for views now. I think he'll call out. <laughs> I I I I showed it off the other day, but like he was posting in his Discord. He was like. Like, literally threatening suicide. Like, obviously not super serious. But, uh, all of his posts had a, a certain uh, demeanor about them. The problem is, all the 13-year-olds are growing up into adults! <laughs> so he's losing his audience! <laughs> Can I go back here? Ah, okay. See, I knew it. Video game intuition. We used to be a community! <laughs> Sam Hyde, Yawcast, Kala. You're just naming names, man. <laughs> if I ever met the Yawcast, I would personally pay them back for what they did to Sonic Superstars, bro. <laughs> oh, I did see the clip of someone calling him out for drinking Diet Coke. The funniest thing about that was like the lady was like, oh, you should at least pretend to care about like the genocides of this and that. You shouldn't support this company. Like she said the quiet part out loud that none of these people actually give a shit. It's all performative. I need to focus up though. All right. Boom. I'm good at the game. I feel like I'm missing the intense story of the Kung Fu level. You think Peach likes Dr. Pepper? Absolutely. Dr. Pepper's like an intellectual drink. 
I don't drink soda and it's the one soda I will not turn down still. Alright, so I've already seen this, but... Don't stop it. I'm being good. Dude, I love Chinese dresses so much. So good. This song's fun. That's nice, she like locks on to the uh, pads. So anytime there's like a new outfit, I, I just have to appreciate the animations for a good minute. Like the way her walk changes and stuff, it's so good. I, I like her little walk-in where she has like the, you know, the hands in the, the, the sleeves. I wish I could walk like that. Like make her walk like that, excuse me. Got surgery for my gallbladder. Well, maybe you wouldn't need it if your diet did consist of specifically pizza. And that's it. And Doritos, excuse me. <laughs> a little variety. It's a one-on-one -on -one fight against a powerful foe. Press B at the right time to kick. How is that not it? Nice. <laughs> we'll fight again if you reach the training hall. Cool. Most bars lost their flavor when they opted for sweetener instead of sugar. Supposedly, the sweetener increased the chance of getting a heart attack. Yeah, a lot of like sugar free type stuff, it's like it's still not good for you. It's very misleading. Zero five calories instead of 140. Not healthy, but it has purpose. Yeah, I mean, I guess it. Yeah, that's a fair point. I would just say, in some ways, it is misleading. This guy out of here. Can we spit on the pole? Yeah, dude. That's fun. I really like that in this costume you can actually, um, like, fling things back and counter. I still have a lot of trouble thinking what's my favorite. Like, the combat ones I definitely prefer. I should just, yep. Oh no, I looked at chat, my one weakness at all points of time.
nice. Figured you're like mermaid. I would, I would if I actually played like Project Diva for the rhythm game. Um, I'm sp talking specifically about gameplay. If we're going just by costume, it's the Baker. And it's just because of the animations. Like, I would have never expected that to be like my girl, right? Oh, nice. But I love the way it moves. I'm a trad guy, you know? That's the easiest way into a man's heart. You cook him some food, and bake him some cakes. Works. But in terms of gameplay, I don't know. Again, it might be Sword Fighter, because I really do like the Sword Fighter outfit as well. But I feel like this is giving it real competition, both for the gameplay and department. Uh, costume part of it. Like, if Peach, like, I, <laughs> I would give it to this costume a hundred percent if Peach wasn't wearing tights. Like, if this was full exposed leg, there'd be no competition. Chinese exposure. Bark says never watch Dragon Ball. Oh, I fucked up. It's fine. I'm too good. There's a little butt flash at that in there. That was good. I, I like the bosses for this more than the sword fight. That was like the one time I was, uh... Struggling. And she's so cute, dude. Street Fighter 6 could never? Absolutely not. And if they did, you'd have to pay like $40 to get there. But hey, Capcom's back, everybody. To be honest, it's so funny how much I, you see that now where everyone's like, Oh, Capcom's back! They're back on top! Uh, it's like, no, <laughs> the money-grubbing Capcom's back. That's where we've been stuck. It wouldn't even be a proper character costume either. Dude, do you remember when they announced like the uh the Spy X family stuff? And you're like, holy shit, they're actually, you know gonna put your in it or something? Like like I don't know. There, there's like a lot of directions they could have went, but they went with the lamest thing in the world. Cause like for me, I wouldn't have expected you were to actually be in it, but it's like I thought it'd be like previous Capcom games or previous Street Fighter games where it's like, oh, this character's dressed as Dante, you know? But no, it was just like, pay 50 bucks to have your custom character wear this. It's like, thanks, Crapcom. Uh, it feels like we're stuck in like, honestly, the DMC DMC era again, but only in a, like in a, in a different flavor of it. In terms of like, 
posturing things toward an American fan base because obviously Capcom was like that before when it's like they want to try to do the Mega Man X reboot and again DMC DMC um, but now because American sensibilities have changed so have Capcom um, Capcom's been evil since Street Fighter 2 true true so true <laughs> Dragon Dogma 2 any good? I think Dragon's Dogma 2 was exactly what I expected it to be. Right? Because I said it's probably going to be a good game underneath and it probably and I, it seems like it is from people who played it, but it has a lot of like modern Capcomisms where it's like unnecessary microtransactions. Um they censored the character creator in a lot of ways from the original, <laughs> which is very interesting because like you can't make like short like uh Lolias characters anymore or just um Shoto's as well, obviously. Um, but the character creator actually does have designs within it. Like to do that, like you can actually make things way smaller than you're actually allowed as the player, but it got like turned off. Like the character creator still has functionality to do that. Um, but I, I guess it got pushed out the last second, probably when Capcom sent it over to um, whatever department they have that's like Square Enix ethical department, like their equivalent, because they also have one, but I forget what it's called. Um, but I think the game's probably good still. It's just, you know, modern Capcom. That's always been the thing about Capcom. I feel like they're kind of a shit company, but like, I don't know. They, they, they got people who make good games sometimes. Dude, I was losing my mind the one time, and it was the first time I, sh I streamed Peach. When people were like, oh man, I hate Nintendo as a company, this and that. They're like, one of the worst. I was like, what? <laughs> like, in this modern age where you have like people like Blizzard, like literally raping their employees, dude. Like, <laughs> like Nintendo ain't no angel, but like, there's so much worse. Tenno, Tenno makes good games and it's like They do some like anti-consumer stuff, but like some decisions that people think are bad. I actually do think are good um, it, I'm struggling right now to think of like a specific example, but like I don't know like, It's very reddit criticism if you have an all-male party, the pawns will comment on how they wouldn't mind if you had some chicks. Yeah, I like that. But if you have an all-female party, they say they have no objections. <laughs> That's good. That's funny. That's a, that is a that is a localization thing, I think, though. Cause it's also playing in Japanese, and I remember that I don't think they have that line. But like on its own, removed from any like thing else. I, I do think it's funny. But the, the, the one thing I don't like about it is like, what if... What if I want to have a party of bros? What if I want a Final Fantasy 15 this shit? <laughs> All my dudes constantly calling me a homo. Because I would never. Do I want to just go for that? I feel like... Oh shit. Turn around, turn around. Yep. Nice. I think I'm gonna be fucked on the turnaround. Yep. That's fine. We got what mattered. Um, let's do this. Uh, having an easy mode but making the real game even easier anyway. Are you- is that- oh, is that a Capcom thing? That sounds like it would be. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Sometimes I forget these are directional. Nice. I don't mind having the game. I don't mind the game having an easy mode if it's a, if if it's an intent, right? Because some games are just like, oh, this is all about the story, whatnot. 
Like, save an RPG. Like, just, just say Persona 5. Because what we're doing right now. Um, like, obviously, that's fine. The game isn't intended to be, like, super hard or whatever. Oh, nice. Um, but something like Dark Souls um, and most of Miyazaki's games, that's obviously part of the world. They're supposed to be, like, grueling and full of hardship and whatnot. So, like, I wouldn't want an easy mode in that. Like, I wouldn't want the artistic vision to be compromised. Abnorm abnormal. I remember one of the things that actually blew my mind, like playing Persona games and uh, I guess Shin Megami Tensei stuff in general, is like actually needing to like buff my party. Cause I played, I've, I've only played like, well I guess not, all, like in terms of traditional RPGs. Um, it was, I mostly only played like baby games like Pokemon, Final Fantasy. So like, and it was RPGs you all never need the buff for. So like playing an actual hard game was like a mind-blowing experience because it was more fun. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice. She's so cool. Oh, I have to be over here. Chaos, yeah, same with the two, by the way. Have I played Super Mario RPG Remake yet? No, I haven't. I still need to. I've been, like, slacking on games in general lately. It's been very annoying. I I've also been wanting to play, like... I'm gonna get the golden statue out of here. Oh, shit. Oh, question for Chad, which kind of goes with what I was about to say, but I stopped myself. How do we feel about Budokai 2's board game mode? Is it, is it cringe or is it Kino? Because I'm thinking it's Kino. I've been wanting to play Budokai 2 in Japanese, that's how it started. Kino, yeah, let's go! I liked it. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is a twerkster the mode opinion, by the way. She hates it. It's so good. Twerkster the mode sees uh, Majin Frieza and it's like, that's stupid, that's cringe. That doesn't happen. That's sick. <laughs> Don't care what Pro Jared says. Pro Jared hates Budokai too. Bro, get allegations back on this man. Yes. He's okay. Thank you. All the all the like special boo forms in that game are great. Dude, I, I'm so excited for Sparking Zero. I'm fucking tired of time patroller bullshit and all my goddamn Dragon Ball games. Like, I just want, like I I do like what ifs, but I want it like I want the actual Z story and then like what if scenarios, please, and like what if forums and whatnot, not evil key from Mira and Toa. Like I'm done, man. Sparking Zero Battle Pass? Please! I'm not joking! I want this game to go for 10 years, bro. I don't want my grandkids playing Xenoverse fucking 2 still, okay? Make Sparking Zero exist for the next 50 years. I don't care. <laughs> it looks so good. 
I it's so weird because I was also excited when um uh the SAO the, the SAO game I, I was in the beta for when I streamed that 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 game has a battle pass I was like yes thank you <laughs> I know this game won't die Xeno I I like Xeno fan Xeno fan's cute still prefer normal fan but Xeno fan's cute. FOMO. Battle Pass doesn't mean FOMO. Um, what you call it? Uh, is it the Hell Divers too? Yes. If Battle Pass comes out, it's there forever. And you don't even have to pay for it in that game, technically. You can get in game currency. Breakers and Helldivers are the exception. I feel like the fact that you can name a few means it's not like that big of an exception. I act, but like, I should clarify that I'm like, I'm sort of like being facetious right now. I, I don't think, I, 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 I seriously doubt that that game would have a battle pass in terms of sparking zero. I think what it's gonna do, I think it's gonna function like Xenoverse. You're just gonna get like DLC packs after a while, which again is what I want. I want the game to just keep going and going because the roster already seems really big, right? Like we've got a hundred and forty fifty characters like actual again like owning of the name sparking <laughs> Xenoverse's underrated masterpiece is peak dragon ball get out of here. <laughs> Don't ship post of my my vicinity. But yeah, I'm gonna be really upset. What the hell, man? How come I can't do that? I'm gonna be really upset if Xeno, excuse me, if Sparking Zero Two doesn't go on for like forever, because every gosh dang Dragon Ball game does now. Um, like Kakarot, did you guys expect Kakarot to still be going in 2024 right now? Not like no, I I didn't. So I'm going to be pissed <laughs> if Sparking Zero is the one game that doesn't live on forever. Because again, as long as the game's complete, I don't mind if you add like DLC later. And to me, like Sparking Zero, like again, they have so many characters already that we're seeing. It definitely seems like at the moment they're treating it like a full package. And I'd be happy to keep getting more. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I had a feeling I missed one in the first area, but oh well. I haven't played Kakarot in Dragon Ball games. I want to play Kakarot at one point. I tried for a brief little bit. Didn't go so hot. But now that they added new grass, well. I don't know, man. Grass looks pretty good. Isn't that really funny? Xenoverse 2 and Kakarot got like a next gen upgrade and they added grass. Like, Xenoverse 2 needs a fucking visual overhaul, man. I feel like I'd be a lot nicer on the game if it wasn't so horrifying to look at. Like, it's covered in gloss and shit everywhere. Everything looks shiny and wet. Not a fan. Like I use it, I use like multiple mods whenever I play it, like reshade. Um, I remove the rim lighting on the character models. Like body, like I like, like it's not, it's it's an easy fix. They could literally use breaker shaders, because breakers look so much better than Xenoverse. It's crazy, despite it being same engine everything. What a powerful switch you have here. Thanks, Miyamoto himself gave it to me. Everything's official, nothing illegal going on in this stream. But see what I mean? Those black lines, the slits right there on her, like, pants. If you just cut those out and have skin there, like, this outfit would be, like, perfect. Oh, no. 
I got distracted by my mind. I was picturing the peach thigh. I'm sorry. But yeah, no, I, again, I was being facetious about wanting a um, battle pass for Sparking Zero. I, I do want it to continue, but I want it to be like Xenoverse, where it just keeps getting updates. <laughs> Battle Fest for Super Mario Bros. <laughs> the next, uh, next Mario Maker, man. It's coming. Oh, do I have to attack when they do that? I think that's what's going on. Yeah. Dude, that was sick. I think that was my favorite, like, basement level. That covers. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's a fair ba basement level. People really thought they would add Mario 64 mode. I saw people thinking like Mario 2. I, I kind of expected Mario 2. It's so weird that that game died so early, right? Like that feels like an infinite content machine. I guess because they maybe because they weren't making money off of it, but like I don't. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I guess what they could have done is like, say they actually did make a Mario 64 maker, like in the same thing, and it was a, like, a, like an upcharge. I, I don't think I'd mind doing that. I don't know. I don't know how other people would feel. Because I, I, I have no problem with DLC in general. It's just a matter of how DLC is handled, like most things. Oh, I should go check the thing. Because if it's like legitimately game is finished, we are now going to use this as a platform and release more stuff later. Like, I'm all for that if I like the game. Oh, hello. What are my other options? Again, I like Detective Outfit, but I think I like the Ninja Outfit a lot more. That's really good. I think I'll still buy it. Do I have another basement level? I did detective. I, I can check, but I, I don't think so. Oh, should I should probably I should probably do the boss and stop here, even if I have it. Cause I think I, I think we're gonna stream this game one more time before we're done. At least that's what it's looking like. Yeah, and then Ninja, you're wasting no one's time because you're correct. Thanks. <laughs> you seen their survey for Paper Mario? We might get Mario and Luigi back. No, I didn't. That's awesome, though. Speaking of crossover, we're talking about Neptune and Saturn Kuar crossover happening at the worst fucking time and like robbing us of like a genuine amazing game if it came out, like when both series were not like ruined. Same thing! <laughs> the Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. Like, that should have been slam dunk if it came out, like, I don't know, one game earlier for each series. Like, and it's it's such a bad game. It's so, it's so upset. For the well and down beach outfits being made at the moment, want me to DM them to you a little later? Feel free. Feel free. Oh, I guess we have to go to each room and turn off like a generator. Um, I guess I would have left. Oh, uh, is this like a maze? I'm a little worried. Right, there's a button here. Oh no, man. Well, that's nice and all. But how do we get over here? 
I guess we're gonna have to go run around. Oh wait, can I not leave here? Oh. There we go, okay. Oh, I see, that's like a power line. Got it. First RPG I played and it was when I was 10, but I thought Paper Jane was really good. Oh my God, get this zoomer out of here, man. <laughs> You really are the twerk. I hear a pity out of this guy. I'm like, ah, oh, don't want to be on this man's side of history. That's how you know Minecraft is good. This is the Minecraft hater gassing up paper jam. <laughs> Any particular genres being dead in the mainstream? I feel like most popular genres right now are ones I would want dead, to be honest. I was struggling to think of something I'd want dead. Right. Oh, okay, I did not see that. I feel like I need to watch these reviews that were showing off at the beginning of the stream because like I feel like my opinion of this game has only gone up with this stream. Overwatch? Nah, I mean I because I don't I don't dislike Overwatch as a genre, right? I dislike Overwatch. But I feel like that's an entire oh completely different matter. Dude, I, dude, when the Chuck Conroy thing happened, the one of the first posts I saw was like, I knew something was wrong with this guy because he hated Sticker Star. Like, what? <laughs> the Sticker Star fan's proudest moment, I guess. Esports was a mistake. You know what? True. You're right. I'd kill fighting games. Every single one of them. Oh man, I, I want those coins. I almost said rings, I had Sonic Brain. And not because I dislike fighting games, I quite like fighting games. But I genuinely agree with that statement wholeheartedly. I think if you trace most of the worst um, problems in the industry, like it all goes back to fighting games. Whether we're talking like community stuff or like overpriced DLC. How am I gonna... Oh wait, I think I'll... I didn't mean to go that in that direction. Sometimes I don't get the angle that I want. There we go. Nice. What is it about fighting games, I wonder? It's also probably if you go community allegations, if you want to count that in there, or questionable things happen on that level. It's pretty up there. Esports made everything so, yeah, so sanitized, community became open to everyone. 
It's like so weird because I remember when I was younger, like when I pictured like a fighting game player, like going off of the people I knew and like associate with it. It's like a, it's like a cool guy, right? It was always like that. Slurs abound, chill. Like there's all there's little varieties between them, but they were all like the cool guy, right? <laughs> and then nowadays it's like. Sanitized is really the best way I would put it, yeah. Oh, I should switch. It's like they were gender fried. How did that happen? Oh. so much sense of personal involvement from online communities. Absolutely. It's just sad. It's kind of true of like everything. When you try to make something appeal to everyone, you remove what makes it special oftentimes. It doesn't have anything that like added flavor to it. I made it like unique. Easy, ladies and gentlemen. Watching old Smash Brothers skits and sad to see what the community has become. Yeah, dude, I. <laughs> Man. Like, Smash was such a big part of my life when I was younger. Thankfully, I didn't get, you know, raped like the other kids. Um, things used to be so different. Like, the things that, like, people get cancer for now is insane. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, be, you know, going for a company, right? And that, you know, when someone's like owned by something, they have to have this presentable fake image and have to like conform to like literally everything. Like, especially with fighting games in general, like I feel like one of the things that like is pushed out now is like the beef, the stories, right? Um, and like... Especially from like a spectator standpoint, like that's one of the most fun things. It's like watching wrestling, you know, like, you know, these like narratives going on, but no one's allowed to have that now. Every, everyone hug, right? Again, it's about the image, the everything is presentable. And then of course there's the underbelly of it. Uh, why couldn't Evo had started in Texas instead of California? I don't know if that'd save it, but. There's no chance it would have been worse. So thank you for the two. About the old Guilty Games on Steam. Um, is that a mistake considering Strive? No, the old games are good. Like... I, I think if <laughs> you fought Strive, that's probably worse. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Especially if you're getting like cheap on a sale, like, I don't, I don't really think there's anything that's really bad to say about that. Like I get it, you don't want to support the company at that point, but like Arc System's big. It's usually not the same team, and I, I guess the point is, that with that one, it is still Guilty Gear, but I don't know. I don't think the current thing should completely ruin the past, right? Like, it sucks when a franchise goes to shit and, like, either people take it over, it goes in a different direction to appeal to new people. Like, that sucks. But for me, when that happens, it still doesn't take away the love I have for the old stuff, you know? Peach, Peach, Peach. And Stella, how dare you two make a mess of my glorious plays? 
Clearly, I underestimated you. I suppose at this point I could even call you rivals, which is mildly amusing to me. Despite your efforts, my preparations to build the ultimate stage for my ultimate tragedy are well underway. Unfortunately, you won't be here to see, unfortunately you won't be here to see it. Spot, it's playtime. Be a deer and deal with these pesky rodents, will you? Strive is okay. Even before the Bridget stuff, the problem with Strive is like most modern fighting game stuff where it's really like watered down. Not even just mechanically. Like I I say this all the time, but like the Strive version of like every design has like its soul sucked out of it. It's like, again, genderfied, which is crazy because it was supposed to be like, you know, rock and roll game, you know? All right, I think I need to send these projectiles back, maybe. Stitching on before he does look a little bit. Oh, okay. See, that little arena earlier was doing the aiming for me, yeah, because of the mirrors. Oh. Can I reflect this? I, I don't think so. I feel like this is just I should be dodging, right? Damn it. Oh, speaking of, like, Bridget-esque stuff... Xenobladers, I heard you had a fun one the other day. I'll go over it the second this boss is done, because I actually want to show stuff. But, uh, something very funny happened. And by funny, I mean the obvious, but... The worst people in the world were punching the ground in anger the other day. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I couldn't. Okay, I tried claiming that. I cannot. <laughs> Oh, I thought that would hit him. That was probably the most abandoning one. I want to get PM Plus and Dolphin, however, the netplay version of Plus have a virus according to my antivirus. I think that's an antivirus problem. And I haven't found any good tutorials for PM Dolphin. I can tell you're a zoomer because you're having so much trouble downloading something. <laughs> it's really funny.
Yay, so much of the theater is back to its previous shiny splendor. It's all thanks to you, Peach. Our sparkle is the best. We should make a play about you. Your sparkle is the best, excuse me. Uh, before we can do that, we, we've got to do something about Grape. The top floor is next, maybe she's there. Does she have slightly less hat hair? I feel like the little poof on the front is... Bigger now. It might have just been when she first took it off. Or when she didn't have the ponytail. My paranoid dumbass. See, Zoomer. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the outfit is before we end today. Yeah, I think this is a decent sized game. It's a bit longer than I expected. Ooh! That's good. This is good too, but this is really good. Hello. I love me some blues. That's cute. <laughs> What's the percentage of these being outfits in the next Smash game? Negative five? <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Xenoblade. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a character. I want you to use your intuition, like me, the detective earlier. What gender do you think this character is? You don't have to play- you don't have to play Xenoblade to answer this question, obviously. General chat. Wide hips, small shoulders, long hair, feminine face. Woman, getting a lot of female- four. <laughs> Got a lot of females in the chat. Alright, alright. Impressive, everybody. Except for Vox, apparently. <laughs> this is- this is a woman. But- the entire Xenoblade fandom, or that entire Xenoblade fandom, that's really mean of me to say. People on Twitter um, have been trying to say this character was non-binary for an absorbent amount of time. Kind of like another character in Xenoblade, mostly because of like stuff in the code. Um, and there is something else, but it's spoilers, so I'm not really going to say it. But either way, misinterpretation, and of course the localization, did everything in their power to remove gender language. But... Am I going to be able to pull this up easily? Hold on. I will summarize before I can find this post. Anyway, an article came out, like an official article, um, the other day. I guess it was just talking about characters, or maybe it was from some design document. I don't know. I don't really like Xenoblade 3. Um, but the, it called the character a woman, and people... We're very upset, and I would love to find the post because it's the funniest thing in the world, because there's like 10 paragraphs of the person who announced it being like, Guys, please calm down. I know this is going to be very hard. And then like, just of all the comments are like, well, yeah. I'm sure I will find it. What a bunch of characters. Well, there's there's like a, a spoilery thing, because there's like a, a line about... I, I don't want to get into it. There is, there is, an, there is a, a being that exists that has had two different versions that they've come into existence as. One was a boy and one was a girl. But they tried to say that this one was non-binary, even though it's like a, you know, an Adam and Eve type thing. Check the DM. Thank you. And one of the reasons that they... Oh, sorry. I need to get this out of here.
Yeah, just, she just says they're a woman. It's like 10 paragraphs of, guys, please don't freak out. This or that is this. Um, and what's always very amusing to me, and people do this a lot, you guys know Mordred from Fate, right? So Mordred from Fate um, speaks with, like, masculine language in Japanese. Yeah. Um, and this is, like, a thing for, like, strong females or, like, characters that want to present, you know, as, you know, in a position of power. Um, sometimes just based on the personality. Like, there's a lot of reasons a girl would speak with, like, masculine language. It doesn't necessarily mean they're a guy. Um, same with, like, an, another character is that one One Piece. One, the one with the, the big boobs. Who's, like, I want to be just, like, Odin? I don't watch One Piece. Um, same thing as that character. So people are like, someone's like, well, why would people think that? And it's like, this person speaks with masculine first nouns in Japanese. And it's like, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's always very amusing to me because it's obviously the people who are the, the, oh, gender expression, this and that. You don't have to fit into a box, this and that. But they're, they're, they're the quickest ones to fill you into a certain position if you express your existence or life or speech in a certain way dress um very amusing but there, there's more reasons they're still not good and still illogical that again they were like oh this character's non-binary but again it's super spoiler territory um so i don't really want to get into it but it, it basically all comes down to the, the, the things i said Seen quite a few people trying to say using female characters Boku is something about their gender. Like, this hasn't been a thing for tomboy characters for years. Yeah, dude, even, like, in American culture. Like, what's that one guy's name? Super famous YouTuber. Annoying. Long nails. Uh, Charles? I don't know. But, like, there's, there's like, gay people. Annoying art. Yeah, the annoying art. There's, like... James Charles, thank you. What Zoomer, thank you. Uh, so J James Charles, like he goes like sisters and like calls himself a woman, like and uses female language. It's like that's just a thing that like some people do because of how they like act or present or whatever. I I again, it's it's always the people who want to say like you know, gender expression, this and that, but it'll be quick to fill you in a box if you do like any little thing. They got mad at Oda when the con when he confirmed the clear female character was indeed female, not trans. Yeah, the same thing right here. Hi, sisters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no woman has ever said what up, guys. Like, anyway, it was it's very funny. And again, this is my favorite part about it. Just like ten messages of guys. It's gonna be hard. Please don't be triggered. Please calm down. <laughs> so funny. We have like a new one like this like every freaking week. Gender neutral in Japanese, even though some pronouns are often associated with the gender, they're not exactly exclusive. Yeah, no, exactly. It always has like a. <laughs> Again, there, there, there's a million ways. Whether it's like they, they want to, you know more take charge again it fits the personality more um there's a million reasons why aren't you in peach's outfit i was wearing a crown last stream but they took the crown so i took it off and i'm not putting it back on until she gets the crown back <laughs> According to Judas, I have no idea who this is. Femboys won't exist in 2026. And it's kind of in the same area. It's like you see a lot of like trans language and stuff like have an active like disdain for like feminine guys. I bet I could go to Sky's profile right now. And I could pull you up like just the most horrible shit you've ever seen. And also some of the best shit you've ever seen. I mean, it's... Yeah, let me just open a few. Dude, I, I, I can't believe it's that easy.
hold on. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling through his page because I need to not show other things that he posts. Well, let me just go to... I don't get why people hate feminine guys. Um, it fits outside the box of what they're trying to push. There's probably also some jealousy in it, I don't know. I mean, you guys have seen cute guys before, right? It is probably the most female trait they have, right? The jealousy. But don't get me wrong, it's not me saying, like, every La Femme boy is good looking, but... You know what happens? <laughs> It was just like attacking this guy. Again, it's all it's always just this very like vitriolic thing. That's just one post that I pulled up from Sky's page. Skylar Armor. Oh dude, this one! Oh my god! Holy shit! So <laughs> For context of this post, some dude was like posting about Bridget or whatever. And he was like, maybe sad because I really like this character, because I, I see myself in a similar existence or whatever, or a similar way like him or whatever. So maybe sad when they change that. And they were like, oh, well, if Bridget served as your inspiration, why not transition in his footsteps? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Trying to groom this man in broad daylight? <laughs> like, <laughs> not beating the allegations. Oh my god, there's so many. Dude, and they always do this. I'm, I'm just literally going through Sky's page right now. I'm getting mad. They always do this thing where there's like a trap manga or femboy manga, whatever you want to call them. Boys love in general. Um, and they're like, actually, the author just doesn't understand they wrote a trans character, this or that. Again, the most like express yourself the way you want this and that people always want to put in the box. No nuance, no anything. You're not, you can only portray the things they approve of. That's media literacy for you. Everything conforms to a worldview. And if it doesn't, it's either like making fun of the thing or the person doesn't understand what they wrote. Bad. I love Sky. Small Baka is his Twitter handle. I, 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 I probably should have keep going, but he, he always posts these things. He like collects them. More than sees at us. Funny. Good for you. But yeah, I, I, I think there's a few reasons the hatred. Again, it, it is part of the jealousy thing, but not even just specific on people. But it's like the attention of like animated femboys even because like obviously I don't really care for 3D PD at all um but they don't even want that to exist and that's why sometimes they'll even like use those words to call themselves even though they're not attention brings attention is kind of like the biggest thing it's why people were always try to claim Estofo when there's probably better arguments you could make for certain fake characters or certain anime characters in general than Estofo who's like by and large a boy by every metric but Estofo is popular, so, you know. But anyway, way off topic conversation. Sorry about that. Um, I sent the stream. I had a blast. Again, I my opinion of this game only went upwards. Not that I was thinking bad about it last time, but uh, I really enjoyed my time. It's so obviously fall that you literally need to forget everything you know about writing to not see it. Absolutely. sort of thing so black pilling it's ruining me i i understand the sentiment but i feel like to go back to the topic for a moment i don't know i feel like more people talk about this kind of thing now i feel like more people speak up about it i feel like awareness is higher i don't know i kind of feel white pilled on a lot of things i care about lately 
And maybe there's some part of that that's just like my interpretation, but I don't know. It's better to be positive, I think. Are you going on side scrollers? You've been crazy to come and talk about this and localization stuff. What's side scroll? I don't really do podcast if that's out. It's not me saying no. Um. I've never been directly requested, if that's your thing. If that's what you mean. I don't know. Maybe. If I was asked to do it, I'd consider it, for sure. Oh! Stuttering Craig, wow. I saw an interesting clip from him recently. Apparently the Showtime devs are the same ones from Kirby's Epic Yarn and Warrior Land Shake It. I like Warrior Land Shake It. Kirby Epic Yarn is okay. But again, I, I like this game a lot, I'm surprised. Do you like Age of Empires 2? I've never, <laughs> I've never played Age of Empires 2. I'm not really a strategy game guy. But I put on this topic and I feel like, word I can't say, have taken everything I like and enjoy and ruin it. Well, they definitely enjoy ruining it. But I don't know, like I said, I feel like, while there's always negative to be had, I feel like in terms, especially if we're talking just localization type things or stuff in anime and games, I feel like, A, more people are talking about it. People are being smart these days more so and actually being involved in stuff instead of just being like, don't care about it, don't care about it, don't do anything. And people are actually contacting companies and stuff and getting involved. Um, and, you know, we act actively see changes for it. Like, I talk about it in, like, every video I do recently. But there's, like, several examples. So I don't know. Like, I get feeling down on stuff, but... I'm one of those people who likes focusing on the positive. So. Why are my comments not showing up? Word is blacklisted. Perhaps. Maybe I should. You should be. Pill. Why did- Pill is right. <laughs> I to the stream. Thanks for coming. <laughs> There's plenty to be happy about overall. Yeah, it's important to not ignore the uh, the bad stuff, right? Like, don't be delusional. Like, it's part of the problem for a lot of people. They're like, nothing's wrong, nothing wrong. But you know, focus on the good. Like, stuff shouldn't make you miserable. Like, I have fun when I cover topics and I do videos, right? Like, I genuinely enjoy talking about that stuff. Um. And because even if it's not something positive, I hope that it'll be like a stepping stone for something positive to happen later. But yes, that's the end of the stream. Um, a new video should be out this month, hopefully, probably towards the end. I was very busy during holidays. Um, you find me on Twitter, I post things once a week. Uh, Patreon if you want to support me directly, becoming a member to support me directly. Both of those will let you get into the member stream every month where we play games. This month, it's probably Mega Man 8-Bit Death Battle. That's not the na right name, but it's close enough. Um, uh, I think that's it. I <laughs> uh, hope you enjoyed it. Again, next week we'll play the last time for Peach before the normal stuff returns. Thank you for coming. Uh, like video. Watch all my videos, like all the videos, etc. Things YouTubers say. And, uh...